missing in there, but there's like a, a bed in there and there's a, a couch over there. It's kind of hard because living like this is kind of hard. This is home for 23-year-old Sage Meaches, a tent in a camp along Winnipeg's Assiniboine River. It's her living room, her fireplace, where she sits to read. Living this life ain't really, like living this way, I don't think anyone should be living this way. It's not right. Last winter was her first one outside. Winnipeg got record levels of snow. Still, Meaches says her greatest challenge is finding someone to encourage her to keep going. Having the courage, the need, the motivation of support, trying to find someone that's going to help you build you up again, someone that's going to help you get out there and be support with you like a companion, that's the hardest thing. The latest Winnipeg Street Census estimates there are thousands of people experiencing homelessness in Winnipeg. Over a 24-hour period, volunteers searched the city to find homeless people. They spoke with more than 1,200. But researchers say that number is just the tip of the iceberg. We know that of the roughly 1,250 people captured, that means that there's 3,000 people that we didn't hear their story and we don't understand why they came into experiencing homelessness. Kate Keller of the Social Planning Council says it's alarming how many people who are homeless can't afford rent because social assistance is so low. That's what's supposed to be keeping people from abject poverty. Clearly, it's not working. Clearly, the rates are not enough. It doesn't even bring people to 50% of the poverty line. Meaches says she isn't giving up. It's been my whole entire lifetime I had the worst life ever, but you know what? The best quotation is you, can, you have to go through the worst to get to the best. So I'm still making my way there to the goal. So I ain't going to stop. She wants the government to think of better ways to help people like her. Andrew Wiles, CBC News, Winnipeg.